What is the tank in Left for Dead? Once a man, but now a beast. This mutation was caused from exposure to the green flu virus spreading across the country. It has mutated into a beast of strength and rage. The virus was known to infect humans and turn them into zombies. But in some rare occasions, this virus would alter the host and change them in special ways. And one of those rare types is the tank. It has overdeveloped arms due to its extreme muscle mutation, and in return, it has tremendous amounts of strength. Despite it being very large and bulky, it can still run fast enough to catch up to survivors. When it runs around, the earth trembles, as it can be seen using its two large arms in conjunction with its body, similar to running like a gorilla. It seems the abnormal growth in its body mostly affected its upper torso and arms, while its legs were left barely affected by the virus. The tank's body has numerous scars from previous fights and a large sore on its left chest. Its jaw seems to have merged with its chest due to mutation, and although shooting the head is the best choice at killing the infected, it seems the tank's bones have become stronger from the virus, as shooting its head does not seem to take it down that much faster. But one weakness that has proven to be effective is lighting the tank on fire. It would burn over time unless it happens to walk into water to remove the flames. But as the tank burns, it will become enraged and run faster towards the survivors. Although, a player-controlled tank would run slower when it is on fire, which is different than the tanks you encounter in the campaign. Now its method of attacking are by using its massive arms to swipe at a target. The impact from his arm would send his victims flying away and falling down. This would aid the tank if the target is in the corner, but out in the open area, this would push them further away from the tank. Now its massive arms can also hit a vehicle or object so hard that it can be sent through the air as a projectile. The tank also has the option to use its superhuman strength to rip out the rock or concrete in the ground and throw it as a projectile. They can use their brute strength to break through walls with their fists or the projectiles they throw. Now it seems the tank has suffered from some type of brain damage or cerebral infection, resulting in the tank always being in a state of rage and anger. As they charge at the humans, they let out a loud growl, which only seems to intensify when they get closer. Another useful tactic against the tank is the use of the bile bomb. It is a vial of the boomer's puke. Using this on the tank would only slow it down as it would attract the attention of the zombies to attack the tank. Although the damage is minimal, it's purely a means of distraction. Now the skin of the tank was changed a little bit between the two games, and in the sacrifice campaign, it was seen to wear shorts and had a military tattoo. So if you've played the Left 4 Dead video games, which special infected is your favorite? My personal favorite is the tank and the charger. If you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe to my channel and enable notifications so you know when I upload a video. Thanks for watching. My name is Acid Glow and I'll see you in the next video.